and today's video is another Ally Express video. So this one here is also a DHL bag and this is from Ally Moto on Ally Express. So first things first, I didn't even open the bag. I decided to do that on camera with you girls so we can get the first impressions. It does come in one of these resealable bags, which I absolutely love. These bags are like a must have, especially if you have wigs and you don't have anywhere to put them or mannequin heads to hang them on, or if you have a lot of them and you just want to store them, these resealable, reusable bags are a must have. Normally what I do is I'll write the vendor right here on this piece of paper that's already taped to it and I'll write the origin and the length of the hair once it's made into a wig. So I do know that I have four bundles here and they are very long, 24, 24, 22, 20, and this looks like the water wave curls. Okay, so this is their water wave hair, um, which I was like really excited about because if you girls know me very well, I love any type of hair that's wavy or deep wave. I do like body wave somewhat, but not as much as I used to because I've done enough of it so this is actually the brazilian the virgin brazilian water wave and so the first thing we're going to look at is this actual closure which has my favorite reinforced sides i do get some closures once in a while that are not reinforced sides meaning it's just a closure there's no seaming or bonding on the side to make it more durable and i'm going to be honest and tell you girls I hate those closures. They are a little bit cheaper, but if you really want something to last, spend a couple more dollars and just get the ones with the reinforced seaming. So here's the closure. It's like a light brown, and I'm just going to take a look through the light and tell you what I think. I will tell you this. The density of this is very dense. It's very thick. Um, that's not a bad thing because I've gotten some where it's so see-through that, you know what I mean? But this one, you can see through it, but there's a lot of hair on this actual closure. And you can just tell from the quilting of it. And it's no quilting, but it's just so thick that there's a lot of hair um the knots are exceptional but the hair is like super gorgeous i'm not really sure why some people call this water wave to me it's more or less a loose wave so i do love this type of hair and this is the hair that they wanted to send me and i was down with that to the max down with it so yes this is a 16 inch closure now the one thing i did forget to show you which i am loving because i love these lashes is the individual lashes that were sent to me and these are in the lengths of medium i will be using these because so this is the 24 inch bundle and excuse the crinkly noise so first things first it is long because it is 24 inches first thing i noticed with the bearding is you can see some of the little hairs nothing major um i will make this into a wig so by the time i wash it and condition it and brush it the hairs will lay flat there's really no smell but the hair is like amazingly soft and it's very pretty very very pretty hair okay so four bundles of this is going to make a gorgeous wig i prefer loose wave hair over anything because for one i don't have to style it i don't have to do I don't have to do anything but just wash it and go and i love hair that's really easy maintenance you don't have to do anything you don't have to put any heat to it but if you do want to put heat to like loose wavy hair you can you can change the texture of it meaning you can straighten it and flat iron it and if you want it to go back to curly or you gotta do or wavy all you gotta do is wash it unlike curly it's a little bit more work because the curls are a little bit thicker so you have to do a little bit more work so i do prefer the loose wavy hair so hopefully when i wash this it'll get a little bit more looser or a little bit more wavier because these water waves are very loose so we will see how it looks afterwards but so yeah, I will post your information below and we'll come back and see how this wig looks. 24 inches is a lot of hair for me because I'm 5'3", so yes, hunties, we shall see. Okay, love, so I am done with this unit from Ali Moda and I am so damn happy because for one, it's actually a loose wave. So it did come as four bundles, 24, 24, 22, 20, and a 16 inch closure. And this is what they call their virgin water wave. 
Now, here is the thing. It came out loose wavy, just like I like it. With this one, I didn't do anything but let it air dry, and that is how I'm going to rock it. So, I went ahead and I did tweeze the middle part in the unit because I just wanted a more natural looking part. I don't like my parts too close together. So, that way, to give it just like a more natural look, I did tweeze it. And I already applied some concealer, a lighter concealer, just to make the lace lighter. I will be applying another one. And as normal, you girls girls know there are combs in this unit like always sewn on a mesh dome spandex cap which is by the brand q fit or two fit something like that and yes always sewn by hand and that's about it so let's go ahead and style this gorgeous unit she came out so pretty and i'm so happy because i've been wanting to do a loose wave like a true loose wave now did it shed of course it shed it did not shed like a mangy dog thankfully but it did shed a little bit which is the norm but other than that she combed through real easy she dries she is still soft as ever and the curls are just so pretty like so wavy in this actual unit she is gorgeous mm -hmm. in this actual unit so of course I did use all the entire four bundles you know I like my hair very full and long but also very wavy so this has met my expectations and I'm so happy because I really don't like to waste my time in doing any type of videos especially when it comes to hair um, I do get disappointed rather quickly but for the most part with Ali Moda they're really affordable and their hair quality is really exceptional so I will post their information for you girls below of where you can check out their Ally Express store their stuff does come in one of these bags like this i write on the bags and lets me know where it came from how many inches and what i've done to it so that way i don't forget when i put it in away in my wig collection but she is gorgeous the waves are popping so i'm feeling a little bit seasick right now but i like the way it came out the cap does fit snug and the part like i said i do like it to look as natural as possible so that is the reason why i do tweeze some of it the most important thing when tweezing i find which is important and very easy when you wash the wig that is the best time to put your part in it once you've washed and conditioned it let the conditioner sit in for a few minutes while the conditioner is resting and just penetrating in the hair go ahead and make you a part brush it over brush it to the left to the right whichever way just make you a part while the conditioner is in there and then once you're rinsing it off just make sure that you're holding the hair down. The part is going to stay. You may need to fix it a little bit. But once you've rinsed the conditioner out, you can go back over that part, which may have a little bit of hairs out of place. And there you have it. 
Then what I like to do, because while the hair is wet, it's a lot easier to tweeze out. I'll tweeze the actual part a little bit wider while the hair is still damp once I've made the part in it. So that's just some my little tips and tricks of making your part stay. A lot of people ask me how do I get my part to look so natural and lay so flat. The best time to do it is when you have the conditioner in the hair and the hair is wet. That's how you can train your part and that's how you can also remove a part and add in another part as well. Some people like to put a part in, put a scarf. That may lay it flat but it doesn't get it as flat and it does take some time. Or you can also do the flat iron method which also does take some time. So just washing it and adding the part is the easiest and best method to me. You'll get an just like a more realistic looking part and your hair will lay flat on the top. So on that note, I will post all of Ali Moto's information for you girls below. If you're interested in a full custom wig made, you part or custom, you can always check out my website, going with the windwigs.webly.com, as well as for in stock in it. So make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up if you like it. And I will see you girls and guys on my next